Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you've seen The Force Awakens, uh, that's great. If not, that's fine. But I'm going to talk about the character Rey. I have a theory about who her uh, lineage is. Uh, I haven't seen many people to talk about it online. I mean, to talk about it, who we believe it is. A lot of people believe that she's the daughter of uh, Luke Skywalker. And I, at first, thought she was the daughter of Luke Skywalker. Uh, but, of course, at the time of this video, it's all speculation. Uh, this video is being recorded about two weeks after The Force Awakens has been released and lots of people talking. And I've been posting my theory on a couple of boards, but I haven't gotten any sponsors. So I figured, hey, maybe uh, I can be the first guy to really present this idea out there. So here is what I believe uh, Ray's parents, or at least one of the parents. I don't believe that Ray is the daughter of Luke Skywalker. I believe... Ray is the daughter of Leia Organa. This would just be too easy to make Ray Luke's daughter. I mean, it'd just be too easy. Think about the uh, speech that Luke gives in the trailer that's not in the movie. You know, he says, uh, "The Force is strong in my family. You know, my father has it. I have it. My sister has it. You have it too." He doesn't say, uh, my daughter has it. He just says, you have it. So that could mean my daughter or could be my niece. You know, it's, it's, she just says, you. And when uh, back when he re revealed himself to Leia, you know, he says, my father has it, I have it, and my sister has it. So if we were going to match the sort of dialogue, and if she was uh, his, uh, his daughter, he probably would say, my father had it. I have it, my sister has it, and my daughter has it. You know, instead, just to keep it vague, he says, you have it. So it definitely implies that she's related to the Skywalker somehow, but it just really would be just too easy, in my opinion, to make her the daughter. I think it would be much more interesting if uh, Rey and Kylo Ren were half-siblings uh, and uh, going in that direction. Ray is simply Ray. At the time of this recording, we don't know Ray's last name. We don't even know if she has a last name. Uh, you know, so she could be Ray Skywalker. She could be Ray Solo, but I doubt that because in the movie, Han and Leia strictly talk about their son Kylo. Uh, they don't at all talk about a daughter or another child or hey, I think this girl I picked up might be our uh, long lost daughter or nothing like that. So I doubt it's of that pairing. And uh, in the movie, Princess Leia is now General Leia, but she's going back to using the uh, last name Organa. Uh, she's not Leia Solo. She's uh, Leia Organa. Now, maybe she never took the name Solo. I mean, a lot of famous people uh, keep their maiden names. But still, uh, it's reasonable to think that uh, when she split up from Han, she went back to her maiden name. And whatever child that she had afterwards will have the last name of that, or maybe she got married again. We don't know how long Leia and Han have been separated. Was it 10 years, 5 years, 20 years? I mean, it definitely has to do with somewhere around the time when uh, Ben uh, was seduced into the dark side and became Kylo Ren. But still, we don't even know if uh, Han and Leia broke up before that. Maybe the turmoil of figuring out what to do with Ben is one of the reasons why they split up. Maybe they split up afterwards, but even still, wherever they split up, they definitely split up for a significant amount of time. So much so that when Leia and Han get back together, it's clear they love each other, it's clear they care about each other, it's clear they miss each other, but neither of them are really trying to rekindle that fire, rekindle that relationship, or say, hey, you know, you know let's do it again. Or, you know, when they sort of part, they say, uh, you know, oh, I, I always... Uh, we get it watching you leave, and it's like, well, that's why I left, so you missed me. And he's like, you know, it was fun, you know, it was, it was some good time and stuff, but, you know, and then they embrace, but they don't kiss, they don't try to, like, say, hey, you know what, I really miss you, let's see if we can work things out. No, it's like, time has passed, they both sort of moved on, and it stands to reason that, you know, maybe, just maybe, Leia's had another relationship in that span of time that she was broken up from Han. If you're wondering why doesn't Ray sense that Leia might be her mother or why Leia 
even though she's gotten a little better with the Force. You know, she's not great with the Force, but still she's gotten definitely better with the Force. She doesn't necessarily step Rey as her daughter. It's real simple. Episode 4, okay? Uh, Darth Vader and then Princess Leia spend about the first two-thirds of that movie in each other's company. They're arguing with each other. Uh, Vader tortures her. Vader physically holds her several times. You know, it's, it's they spend a significant amount of time uh, together, yet they don't sense it at all that they're blurry related. Uh, Darth Vader doesn't even say, hey, you know, you kind of look like my, nah, you can't be. You know, to, to them, there is no connection despite them both being force sensitive. And even uh, as Leia sort of uh, gets to know Luke, she feels a connection there, maybe because she actually likes Luke as opposed to this giant guy in black torturing her and uh, holding her back while she, her home planet gets destroyed. But still, if Vader, who is super force sensitive, and Leia, who is potentially high force sensitive, can't feel their bond, then you know it's perfectly fine that Rey and Leia don't necessarily experience their bond. Plus, you gotta imagine that uh, Leia was more focused on the death of Han and dealing with that tragedy, as well as the tragedy of now she has to re-rebuild the New Republic since the, most of the re Republic or, or the major governing bodies of the Republic are now gone, and she has to deal with uh, you know whatever potential retaliation is coming from the First Order. So she's got a lot on her plate. And it probably doesn't quite really dawn on her that, hey, this could be my uh, daughter. Yeah, I think she had Ray sent off to a planet uh, and also wasn't told which planet. Like, like I said, no, don't tell me where she is. That way, in case I get captured or uh, tortured, I can't tell them where my child is. She might even have some type of uh, mind, you know, I, I hate to use uh, mind mail, but, you know, whatever uh, Kylo Ren was doing to... Ray, you know, they could have had someone do some of that to Leia to make her forget about her daughter and sending her off. And then, you know, a lot of us theorize that Ray was sort of brainwashing or put the whammy on that she feels a connection to need to wait for her family on that planet, even though she pretty much could, as a pilot, could leave almost at any time she wants. So the point is, my theory is that Leia feared that Ray would also become evil, so she sent Ray off to a planet on the far skirts of the Republic, far from any Jedi. That way she can just grow up as a normal person, not become evil, not become good, just go live a life without all this craziness. And uh, and despite all that, the Force, the will of the Force found a way for Rey to awaken her power. And now she's back in the game, in the fight, as uh, Maz talked about, you know, the fight, good and evil. And uh, I believe in the coming episodes, we'll find we'll definitely find out one way or other in the coming episodes who's Ray's uh, lineage. But I really believe it's um, uh, General Leia. So, but that's my theory. Of course, this will all be uh, dismissed when those episodes come. But I wanted to get that out there. I would love to know what others think. So, uh, please provide any theories or comments that you may wish to share in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching. I am High Hill Knight, and remember, find inspiration everywhere. <laughs>